Andrew Gallion is no stranger to the music world. I've been blessed throughout my career to take kids all over the world, even when I was serving in JPS, the choir I worked with there. The director of choral arts at Holmes County School District leads this group of talented young musicians. Coming into choir, it was to find a passion. It was to find myself as a person. The competitive program is no easy feat. Really, I wasn't going to come at first, but G, he, he brought me into it, and my sister and brother, they was in here. My sister was the student director of last year's class and also the valedictorian. Showing that hard work, perseverance, and dedication pays off. This year in April, these Holmes County Central singers are heading to the Big Apple to perform at one of the most prestigious music venues, Carnegie Hall, and they need your help to raise at least half of their $50,000 campaign. I was stoked. <laughs> I think I was just as excited as the kids were. Oh, I was excited. I've been waiting for three years to go to Carnegie Hall. Three years since the pandemic stalled plans. Nevertheless, committing countless hours, the Holmes County Central singers have grown tremendously over the years for this moment on the big stage. I just didn't really know how to feel, honestly, because I never thought that, you know, with us being such a small county, I never thought that we would be recognized that much. I just feel very excited because we work really hard to get to this spot. Each singer that finishes the program receives scholarships to the college or university of their choice. The children of Holmes County are just as talented as any other students that I've worked with in the city, and they need this exposure, so this is really more so about them. If you'd like to donate to Holmes County School District's first choir performance at Carnegie Hall in April, head to our website, wjtv.com, and search for this story. Well, Galleon emphasizes he does it for the students, the Holmes County Central Singers, will get the chance to show off their talents at the Mississippi State Capitol this Thursday, February 2nd. And if you know of a school doing something cool, well, just let us know with the email address listed below.